The Adventures of Jungle Jim. Another complete radio episode based on the characters and action pictures of the same name that appear every Sunday in the Comic Weekly. Under the expert leadership of Jim and Colonel Sing Lee of China, a small but highly trained group of guerrilla fighters has given the Japanese in Malaya something to worry about. Striking swiftly and without warning, the group seems to evaporate before the Japs can strike back. So while they're too small to be of major military value, their psychological importance is tremendous. Having effected the escape of the American flying ace, Lieutenant Colonel Weir, in the confusion of their latest attack, Jim's task now is to get his group safely away before the Japs can hunt them down. Handicapped by a wounded shoulder, Jim directs reconnaissance forays from his hiding place in the jungle. One of these reconnaissance parties is comprised of Sergeant Mack, the young Chinese-American Tom Sun, and a grumbling Malay native called Runa. They're at the outskirts of the town of Jemaloan. Hey, wait a minute. Listen. It's a light truck from the sound of it. Uh -huh. Japanese truck. Road been alongside. What's the idea, Rona? You said you'd keep us away from that road. No, road have got much turning, Tom son. Also, road got many Japs on it, Rona. Right. My country full of Japs, Sergeant Mac. Too much Jap. Them been strong. Got much fighting stuff. Us been weak. No have got... Better not let the others hear you talk like that. It's true. Masky. Well, if Jim wants to circle the town on the west, it's a cinch he can't use this trail. Come on, let's get back. Better you fellow wait here. Rona, make sure. Hey, come back here, Rona. Rona got idea. You not go away. By and by, Rona, come back, pay big news. Oh, but there are Jap sentries up there. Let him go, Tom, son. If you ask me, it's good riddance. Oh, I don't dig that character, Mac. He said he knew just how to avoid the town, and then he leads us right to it. Well, at least we can tell Jim how not to miss the town. You know what? That big jerk is scared. If I didn't know it for a fact, I'd never believe he and Kolu came from the same place. Hey, when did he join up with us anyway? Oh, when the natives in that village downriver decided to go in for a scorched earth policy, remember? Oh, yeah. yeah he's done nothing but gripe ever since. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if he... Hey. I know. I heard it. Hey, give me a hand up this durian tree, Mac. Okay. Now, keep the tree between you and that road. Don't worry. I won't let him spot me. Yeah. You see anything... No, not yet. Give me time. Keep him back. Keep him back. Run so bad, so bad, you. So bad. What gives, Thompson? Why, that icky of a dirty... Did they get Rona? Stand back. I'm coming down. Hey, you're in kind of an all-fired hurry all of a sudden. Tootin' I am. Look out, Mac. There. Brother, we got to get back to Jim and the others pronto. They got Rona. No, just the opposite. That lily-livered no good is a quizzling, Mac. He walked right over to him with his hands up. He what? It's a fact. And he knows just what Jim's planning to do. Well, then, we got to get out of here. Solid right, Jackson. Unless we can head Jim and the others off, they'll walk straight into a Jap ambush. Already pressed for time and dangerously low on ammunition, can Jungle Jim overcome this threat of treachery? We'll see his reaction in just a moment. Right now, I want to remind you that this Sunday and every Sunday, the Comic Weekly offers you and your family thrills, excitement, mystery, and chuckles. The Comic Weekly comes to you with 15 of the nation's leading Sunday papers all over the country. It brings 15 million readers more than two dozen top-notch features, all in full color, all created for your pleasure. That's why the folks in over six million homes turn to the Comic Weekly the first thing Sunday morning. They know they can count on its brilliant pages to start the week off right. So why not add to your own enjoyment by buying the Sunday paper in this city that contains the Comic Weekly? You'll find the figure of Puck and the name the Comic Weekly at the top of the front page. And now back to the jungles of Malaya and Jungle Jim. It is arranged, Jim. Our lookouts are posted. Okay, Singh. I've sent Kolo into town to see what he can pick up. If you ask me, all he'll pick up is a dose of Jap lead poisoning. Uh, not Kodo, Mac. Now, come on. Let's get going. Oh, you cannot break trail with your left arm in a sling. Uh, let me go ahead. Oh, thanks, Singh. Jim, this is crazy. Maybe. Maybe that's what the Japs will think, too. But, Jim, Rona's tipped them off. Don't you understand? Yeah. And yet you say we'll go right ahead as planned. Right, Mac. We circle the town to the west. 
Hey, Jim, you sure that shoulder wound hasn't made you a little uh, delirious? Uh, it is you who behave like a mountain of fever, Thompson. Well, now look, I'm Your not... Uncle Sing Lee's had a little more experience dealing with the Japs than you have, youngster. Well, no arguments there. But how am I going to get experience if I don't live long enough? It is to see that we do live, that we carry out our original plan. Uh, come again, Sing? Sounds to me like a Chinese puzzle. <laughs> hey, you're right in the groove, Mac. It's what your uh, army manual calls it, tactics, Mac. Ah, oh, that's a lot more polite than what I call it, Jim. Tactics, huh? Pronounced suicide. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. It is all right. It is the native Raleigh doing lookout duty in those sugar palms. Where's the Australian thing? Uh, manning the heavy machine gun at the entrance to the hollow. Oh, up ahead here. Good. Misha certainly did a disappearing act after we told you about Rona. Uh, he and the Frenchman are at the far end of the hollow. Have they got enough grenades? <laughs> None of us has enough, Jim. Well, for once, I agree with you, Unc. If we were hep on the beam, we'd be circling east instead of west. And playing dead, too. If we did, we wouldn't be playing dead, Thompson. Huh? The Japs would have us between their garrison and the China Sea. Aren't we between the devil and the deep blue sea anyway? It might be, Mac, if it weren't for Rona. Rona? But he's the very reason why oh, we... Oh, I get it now. You figure the Japs won't believe Rona. No, Mac. I figure the Japs will believe Rona. Uh, well, then I but don't... But they get... would also take the precaution of sending a force to the jungles east of the town. That's why they'd have us cold if we headed that way. Huh. They'll have us cold this way, too, Gate. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Got your water canteen handy, Sing? Oh, of course, Jim. Wait. Say, that shoulder's giving you the devil, isn't it, Jim? Maybe that's a sign it's healing. I hope. If only we had more of those sulfur powders. Yeah. Well, we haven't. Got the top off yet, Sing? Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh. Oh, thanks. That helps. Uh, the hollow is not much further. Jim, I know you got troubles enough without me pestering I don't but... blame you, Tom, son, or Mac either. But your Uncle Sing Lee and I have always tried to take advantage of the breaks. Now, sometimes you can turn a bad break into a stroke of good luck. Well, whatever that means, I hope this is one of the times. It is up to us to make it so. But, Jim, when a man who knows your whole plan goes over to the enemy like Rona did... Now, that's a bad break in anybody's book, Mac. Then how is going through with your plan taking advantage of it? It seems to me that... Quickly, quickly. We must take covers in the hollow. You, Thompson, huh? utilize that youthful energy by joining Raleigh and telling us what he has observed. And watch yourself, Thompson. Oh, you're telling me. Don't worry, they won't copagander at me. The trail drops kind of sudden here. Now watch that arm, Jim. I'm okay. This isn't a very likely spot to make a stand. All they got to do is stay on the rim up here and pick us off like fish in a barrel. Uh, even fish in a barrel are elusive targets, Mac, when one cannot see them. Well, if you ask me, that rise across the hollow would be a better place... Infinitely to... better, Mac. That rise would be the logical place to make our stand. Then why aren't we doing it? Just because it would be logical. Oh, more puzzles. Sometime when you get around... Now, you... listen. Put yourself in the Jap's place, Mac. Ah, uh, not me. Not even for supposing. A scared native, Rona turns himself in and tells you the United Nations guerrilla are circling to the west of town. Okay, right away. I'd think he was lying. Yeah, but you would send a search party in case he were not. Well, maybe so. And when you got to this hollow and saw the rise at the far end of it, you'd say, Ah, if they're here, that rise is where they'll be waiting for us. I get it, but instead... Right. We'll wait till they're down in that hollow and let them have it from all sides. Yeah, Tom's son is returning... He is trying to signal something to us. Uh, but, Jim, suppose the Japs figured the same way you do. That's what we've got to be on the lookout for, Mac. But even if they do, at least we'll have them on equal terms. Hey, Tom Sun is very agitated. Oh, what's he saying? I could not hear. Hurry, all of you! Take cover! Raleigh says the Japs are spreading out towards this hollow, all right. Some of them may have reached it by now. Okay. Better spread out ourselves. Yeah, I will stay with you, Jim. Uh, help you with that arm. Okay, Singh. What about Rona, Thompson? Well, Raleigh says he led the Japs here, but they sent him back to town under guard. Under guard? Uh -huh. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> so far, it is as we hoped, Jim. Yeah, so far, Singh. But we're in for a little waiting now. Keep your eyes peeled for the Japs. But whatever you do, don't let them know we're this close to them. I uh, do not like this, Jim. More than 40 minutes, and nothing has happened. 
Something has gone wrong. Nothing we can do now but play the hand out, Sing. These Japanese are no novices at jungle fighting, remember? No worry. I'm not forgetting it. If their force is large enough, they will sacrifice a few men to learn our position. And we'll then... have to gamble on that, Sing. It is no gamble, my friend, when the cards are stacked against you. When the cards are stacked against you. Oh, they're here, all right. They're in this hollow. I can feel it even if I can't see them. The question is, how many of them? I wish I knew. Not a sound from our lookout since Raleigh's warning signal. Wait. Hmm? It's the trunk of that dead urine tree. Which one? Up there to the left. A little grayer than the others. What about it? I thought I saw it move just now. It isn't moving now. Watch it. They're probably edging up towards that rise. That's where they figure we'll be. Look. It's that tree trunk. Uh -huh. I saw it this time. Boy, they're good, all right. They move just enough to make you doubt your eyes. Listen. That was one of our calls. Yeah. Miss you from the sound of it. Oh, if it weren't for this blasted arm of mine. Watch. The tree trunk moved back in. Yeah, look, Sing. There's another one where it was before it moved. Oh, I hope our men have sense enough to hold their fire. <laughs> Jim, the Japanese have seen us. I still sing. Don't make a move. But Jim, they've seen Raleigh. They are shooting. Never mind that. Watch those dead tree trunks. They... Oh, there are more of them. I did not see them move, but their positions have certainly changed. Oh, any minute look, now. Look, look, look. They are moving again. Okay. Oh, they're lined up like ten pins. Jung Ho! Firemen! Fire at will! <laughs> Look at them try to run. Yeah, they won't get far. They're running up ahead. Yes, yes. Trying to reach that rise. Thompson! With a crazy kid, what's he running away for? He must have seen something. Good boy, monsieur. The Japs will never take that rise with him on the job. Don't show yourselves, men. Keep covered. Keep down, Jim. That fellow saw you. Yeah, the Australian took care of him. But we've got to get out of here, Singh. The Japs will keep sending more men until we... Uncle Singh! Thompson, keep your foolish head out of sight. Did you not hear Jim's orders to stay under cover? Well, you can pull me out later, on. Colonel's back from the town. He's with Raleigh. They got Raleigh in the leg. So that's where you were running. Yep. And listen, there's a big Jap convoy of food and supplies coming up the river. The enforcement's here. Uh-huh. And lodging's a base. Oh, that's bad. If we can hold out till dark... We ought to make it, Jim. Kolu says the Japs in town are all hot and bothered about the execution. What execution? Well, it seems the Japs blamed Rona for leading their men into a death trap. They've beheaded him. Well, let it be a lesson to the rest of us. You can't do business with these Japs. Any man who thinks he can is just losing his head. Still other adventures with Jungle Jim are waiting for you every Sunday in the Comic Weekly. No wonder it's America's favorite funnies, for it contains over two dozen full-color features. Features like Flash Gordon, Prince Valiant, The Lone Ranger, Buzz Sawyer, The Phantom, page after page of never-failing entertainment. That's why 15 of the nation's top Sunday papers are proud to distribute the Comic Weekly. That's why 15 million readers look forward to it every Sunday. Let that include you, starting this Sunday. Remember, Sunday morning is adventure time when you read the comic weekly. And join us again next week for another radio episode starring Jungle Jim. Jungle Jim.